back to the Goons podcast, the number six podcast in all of Somalia. Wouldn't it, Morton? Yeah, we, we, we took that a is what they say the about time. us there. <laughs> number six <laughs> podcast in Somalia. Yeah, we're doing How many f- pod- Do they even have six? I think, but they're all just like pirate li- related podcasts. Number two podcast in all of <laughs> Kazakhstan. Yeah, number yeah, one is, um, you know, Goat and Me. It's just a guy okay, talking to his goat. All right. Yep. <laughs> very, very, very cool, McMaster. Thank, Thank you for doing. Thank you for doing research. Yeah, yeah what was that, that all about? Snapchat. It was terrible. It was well, I didn't expect that. It was very bad. Well, how did you? Uh, where did you source the goat from? <laughs> My friend bought the goat from some guy in a Sam's Club parking lot. <laughs> what? what? Why did you that trust that? <laughs> What? That doesn't sound real. I was like, goat could have had like diseases. I was like, dude, are you sure it's even a goat? It could be like a woman's leg. He just like, cut off. Like, you just never know. It seems like it is the start of a joke or the start of a horror movie. Yeah, a healthy mix. Or, or both. Yeah. Was like a funny. Horror was movie. the goat alive when he bought it? No, they didn't just like <laughs> chop the goat up in the parking <laughs> lot. Like, like hanging from the I inside don't know of what Wait, it's a yeah, Sam's Club, happened. Larg. It's not Iraq. <laughs> wait, wait. Was this goat? There? Was this goat like freshly dead, or was it like already like skinned and, uh, and the meat was like I in don't a know. package? I don't know. My friend just called me. He said, "Hello, I have the goat." He said it like that too because he watches us, and I was like, yeah. "Okay, naturally." <laughs> and so I went over, and I did not like it. But he made I lobster mac and why. cheese with it, and it was really good. That was okay. Good. The well, that was not good. I would I would go for the lobster mac and cheese, and Weird probably not the goat. They don't even they don't even eat goats in like like Middle East countries where there are goats everywhere. I feel They're like that should have been the first mm-hmm. sign. Yeah, it's more of like because they food. worship yeah, we, it. We marry them. We don't fucking. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, that's like your <laughs> god or something. <laughs> eat the goat pork. <laughs> no, the I think goat is only really in like Greek food. Like everywhere How else, did you, uh, you're thinking of lamb. Yeah, you're yeah, thinking of lamb. 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 Yeah, true. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody like just eats goat. To be honest, like they, yeah, they're was, too useful. Bad. They make like milk, milk and cheese. And cheese, yeah. Plus, they're kind of cute uh, too. <laughs> I, 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 I guess yeah, they're all right. How did you cook it though? Was it barbecued or like did he smoke the goat? He grilled it just on a charcoal. He grilled grill. a goat. Grilled a goat on a charcoal grill. Mm-hmm. That's got to be a new sentence. <laughs> It sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> Grilled a goat on charcoal grill. <laughs> Grilled goat on gr- charcoal grill. Too Grilling many, goats on the grill. Too many G's. You should have smoked it. <laughs> Don't you have a big smoker in your backyard? No. No. Oh. Well, All right, uh, glad we got that sorted. That is <laughs> so <laughs> strange. Well, that's fun, guys. Talk to you next time. <laughs> yeah, All right. Move on from that now. <laughs> Episode six, goat leg. <laughs> Goat review. <laughs> <laughs> goat review. Goat review. Mediocre goat. That's gonna be my second channel. I'm just gonna do goat reviews. I want that dude that wears like the, the nerdy dude who wears the suits. I want him to review goat leg. <laughs> Ew. Despicable. Uh, I don't know, maybe he'd like it. Alright, can we move on from the goat, please? Yeah, no more goat. Uh, <clears throat> uh yeah, I think a good thing to talk about is uh this new wild TikTok ban. Um, potential TikTok ban. Is it it's, not yeah, it's not like official to, well, yet, right? To my knowledge, Microsoft is still potentially buying it, but Trump mm-hmm. is like, no, you can't buy it. But what I don't understand about the ban is like, everyone's so okay with having their data stolen by like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all that shit. But now suddenly, when it's not an American company that's stealing your data, now everyone's like, nah, no, that's not okay. Well, ban I think that. It, it mainly mostly has to do with like, China, the way China's <laughs> stuff work is there's so much more like there's there's rules in China for the data selling stuff that don't apply here in the U.S. Like they, they'll take your information and sell it to like like suspicious like people that will take your stuff and like actually yeah, use I it guess. for bad stuff. I can't really. Yeah, put the where word I guess I feel it, like I feel I feel like most of it probably goes to the government when it's like U.S. companies that are joining data. They probably get. I don't know how any of it works because I guess that's all technically conspiracy. But yeah, I don't know. I, don't to, know. To I just me, find like, I just find it weird that everybody's so like, "fuck TikTok for that," and then we'll go and tweet that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what, what do you think Twitter's doing? Why, like, if it's free, it's taking your data. That's like a good rule of thumb. Yeah, yeah your if you're data not is out there anything, 
Yeah, exactly. Which, I mean, 90% of the time, why the fuck does it even matter? Right. I don't care if, like, they get hacked and fucking, I don't know, they can see me sitting in my chair all day. All I care about when it comes to it is I just don't want to see a bunch of 15 year olds doing the renegade on youtube and i feel like that's gonna that's, that's gonna happen <laughs> right yeah TikTok, we bad. don't we don't we don't want to have like the vine thing happen again where it's they all be, come over to our platform yeah it's gonna be worse though because now they're gonna do like dance fortnite dances for 10 minutes instead of like 10 seconds like they're doing on fucking <laughs> oh TikTok. god i can't wait like those. Add every minute too i yeah. can't wait to go to mcdonald's to get a burger and they're just like nay naying <laughs> for me 10 minutes goal. straight <laughs> all the fucking all the tiktok fucking stars are now working at mcdonald's is how you're getting that <laughs> oh god that's fate Do, is it actually like can you actually make decent money off tiktok though like i know? have no idea I i've heard like rumors about top we should get making we like should get 90k a, t- a post or something stupid, really we but. should get a tiktok creator on here at some point well, we should like, find one they get sponsors and stuff right yeah right. i guess i mean one of my friends she had over like a million tiktok followers but like apparently they did not vibe with her very well like the actual company itself was apparently really shit to work with oh the thing is too on tiktok it's like a million followers on tiktok is like 100k on youtube yeah that's like nothing yeah yeah Yeah. it's It's really easy to grow on tiktok it's not as important yeah it's just way too easy to grow on tiktok i think the one thing we should like that should be taken from tiktok is how good their algorithm is they have the best algorithm out of any social media site I've ever seen for like promoting new content that like people yeah. are interested in seeing. Oh yeah. Like there's a so fucking good. I think the worst is like Instagram or Twitch. Like Twitch just recommends these dog shit streams of like oh, for me it's know, Twitter. some dude working out with RuneScape. You can't you can't grow on Twitch, man. Twitch no, is it's so fucking Twitch, hard. Yeah, Twitch is just yeah. way too oversaturated. You know the, yeah. the yeah. thing about Twitch is they only promote people who already have a massive following. Right. Also, yeah. I feel like, <clears throat> how do you feel about that? Thank you for babe. sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to toss yeah. that in there. Thank you for tossing that in there and blowing out my left eardrum. <laughs> I appreciate that, McNasty. You're and uh, for all sweetheart. the people listening in their car, I hope your speakers no longer work. <laughs> We will not be paying for that. We probably just caused a crash by doing that. Why? Well, yeah, just, just, oh, just put a light into a fucking pole. Yeah. Hammers the accelerator into a fucking red light. Yeah. <laughs> and so for those who fall asleep vaccine. to our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Good I morning. Get people saying that all the time where they're like, oh, I go to sleep to your podcast or your videos. Like, are you fucking sure? Yeah, dude. Like, do you idea. also sleep to like Whitechapel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I go to a Meshuga concert yeah. and fall asleep. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I like listen to Saving Private Ryan with the volume on full before I go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if people do that. I need like complete. I wear earplugs to sleep. Like, really? I sleep with earplugs in. Yeah. I wear butt plugs. You don't get like. Okay. <laughs> 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 I can't sleep unless I feel the, the colon tickle. <laughs> uh, Falling asleep in a movie theater is pretty easy. I do that occasionally, like an old. I've never done really? that. I can't. Well, I, used to. I can't fall asleep with like people around me. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'll fall asleep <laughs> in a grocery <laughs> aisle, <laughs> like grocery store. <laughs> in a grocery Are you ninety five? <laughs> I just don't give a shit. Like I'll sleep anywhere. I don't give a fuck. I think uh, one of my friends. He was in the military. And they taught him to be able to fall asleep literally on command. Like, you could literally be like, hey, go to sleep. And he will literally fall asleep within like three seconds. We were on our way to dinner and we were sitting in the car. And he's just like, all right, I'm going to go to bed. Dead. He's out. Literally that. I would use that to my advantage so many times. Like, someone's yelling at me. He does it all the time. I'll just (laughs) fall asleep. Go to bed. (laughs) I get pulled over by a cop. Just fall asleep. (laughs) I I envy that so much. It takes Fire me like an hour and a half public, to fall asleep. Fall asleep. <laughs> Fire a gun and go to sleep. <laughs> well, can't like, be that guy. He's asleep. Couldn't be him. Tape your finger to the trigger and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that thing with the military though. Like they, I, I don't know how they do it, but they teach you to fall asleep, like in case you're in a situation. Yeah, he tried to explain nap. it to me, and like. They essentially have you shut down your body in like waves. Like he was like, yeah, I oh, start at my right, head yeah. and make make my head go like limp. And then he's like, I just do that through my whole body and I'm asleep. But like I've tried that and I'm like, okay, my body feels like a noodle. And now I'm thinking about fucking 
doing something else. Like yeah. I just, I cannot. It takes me so long to sleep. Like I don't even think about bad shit. I just think about shit, just random things. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what am I gonna have for breakfast tomorrow? You I don't realize too doo-doo. when you're laying down. You don't realize like parts of your body that are tensed up. Like I'll, I'll be laying there too. Yeah. Like and I'll be trying to fall asleep, and I realize that like I'm in a position where I'm like pushing my shoulders up. And then I just like release and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, I do that. Yeah. You don't even like notice while you're doing it until you're like, and you've been doing it for like 30 minutes or something. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Horace was, uh, I used to clench my jaw the whole night and I'd wake up with the worst headaches ever. Yeah. I literally would clench like full force, clench my jaw the whole night and I'd wake up and I would just like want to get fucking Uh, shot in the head. Do you guys snore? No. I only do if I, I lay on my back. Think, so. If I lay on my back, dude, I snore like a <laughs> yeah, freight train. Me too. Really? You might have yeah. like sleep apnea. <laughs> you might just no, like, die one night. <laughs> no, like I, I sleep fine. Like I never wake up where I'm like, man, I wish I got more sleep or something. But like, dude, I snore so fucking loud. I don't know what it is. Like if I lay on my back. <laughs> God, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. So we could never like get married. Do you ever, uh, damn it. Do you ever like sleep <laughs> on your back and snore so much that you wake up and like your sinuses are sore? Dude, I'll wake up and like my, oh my tongue God. will be like dried to the roof of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, if I don't get water, like my tongue will literally fall off. I, I've done that a couple <laughs> times where you just wake up and you just felt like you ate sand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it's like you just did the cinnamon challenge for six hours. <laughs> literally, that is what it feels like. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. Do you guys keep, you guys uh, do I don't that? snore though. Do you guys keep water by your like bed? I yeah. Know. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. I That's used to, uh, I don't really do it anymore, but in like high school, Every single night without fail, I'd wake up at 4.15 a.m. Every single time on the dot. I'd wake up, walk to my kitchen, walk to my (laughs) kitchen, drink 500 milliliter water bottle, just crush it in like two seconds, and then have to piss immediately and then go back to bed. You're going to have to explain to us Americans what 500 milliliters is. That's just like a regular Yeah, it's a regular water bottle. bottle. Oh, like even 16.9 fluid ounces? God, that's stupid. God, (laughs) America. Same thing. (laughs) Honestly, yeah, I wish I kid. wish that America had the metric system because it's just like <laughs> I don't know. Okay, sure. Everything yeah. is just yeah. random numbers. Why we, yeah. Were they like the only people who refused yeah. for some reason? Like one I mile actually like is the five thousand two hundred and seventy four feet. It's like why? Why? Do, <laughs> why? Like, can't it just be increments <laughs> of ten like everybody else? Yeah, because some I, fucking I, Confederate said so. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I actually like how the UK does it. They use like a mix of everything. Like they use miles per hour, but like use metric for like other things. It's really weird. But I mean, I feel like it works well. I don't know. I I just I don't know why U.S. is the only country that wants to stick with their. Dumb I think it has system. to do with some like some president made that decision back then. I feel like that's it was an like ego Grant thing or something. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I've heard of that before. Like we I had, like we had the like, ability to go with thing. metric, but a, de- a president decided that. A very dumb, stupid president decided that we should. <laughs> Way to throw that in there. <laughs> <by a random laughs> yeah. fuck, He's probably president. dead. And you're just talking shit about some oh, yeah. old fuck dead him, fuck. Dude. Yeah, imagine one dude, guy being the reason we're not on a metric. Like, <laughs> I mean, should... it probably is. Well, it was probably like voted. I can't imagine he was just like, yeah, this is forever a thing now because of me. <laughs> like, I'm sure, like, I'm sure yeah. there at least had to been like 10 people that were like, yeah, yeah, let's fuck with that. Executive order to make sure we never get metric system <laughs> for some <laughs> goddamn stupid reason. <laughs> I want to go scuba diving. Okay. All right, on to the next topic. Can you, can, can you explain? No, hold on. <laughs> can, why? Why do you want to go scuba diving? What? What was the? What was the connection there? What was the segue into your brain? I don't know. I just want to go scuba diving. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. All right. Next All right, time. Well, yeah, you're the only one who wants to do that. Moving. You on. were yeah. talking about 500 milliliters of water, and I was just like, that'd be cool. And you thought, oh, yeah, shit. I wish I was under. That. <laughs> and you thought 500 mile deep ocean time. <laughs> I was thinking about where water come from, ocean. It doesn't. It's too salty. It comes from lakes. And oh, like- yeah. Next topic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I think a good one uh, you brought up, Lark, is uh, the most annoying type of person. Oh, I I'll let somebody else go first. I things to say about I that. agree. I like people that, that sleep nasty. all day and burp in their friends' ears. And, yeah, <laughs> honestly, like <laughs> southerners, Indian voice. Just southerners. Yeah, people that just think that they're amazing Virgins. at guitar and they just show off on the Arabs. I didn't even say I anything. Was, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it, dude. 
So you're you're all thinking it, and Ignace, he's the only one that said it on. <laughs> the most annoying, annoying type of person, just another race. Like, <laughs> just the whole race. Yeah. Whole race is wrong. God, we are not getting any not brand deals on this. here. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't uh, In game, in game. Oh, we're good, we're good. I don't know I if that's, that's how, how that works. works. I don't know if you can be like, <laughs> yeah, I hate this race, but in game. I mean, unless you're talking about like World of Warcraft unless races you're playing, or like something. CSGO or something. We were talking about Dragon Race, though, people. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Super. <laughs> He's just got a lot of good contributions it's like you have a, today. Like a switch know. in your head where you can just turn off like a hundred brain cells. Yeah. And then. Yeah, at least he has a switch, McNasty. Yours is just broken. Yeah, at, least off. He, at least, at at least he has a hundred brain cells to turn <laughs> off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yours is just busted. My brain cells are using my eyes and mouth. It's not using the ears right now. Can't hear you. Nasty, do you have to stop walking to chew? <laughs> I don't walk and Why chew. Why are you walking around and chewing? Yeah. <laughs> you never have, like chewed gum and walked. You've just never been able to do both those. I, don't chew I gum. walk while I eat all my food. Chewing gum is for pussies. Is that weird? <laughs> Why is chewing gum for pussies? I don't know. <laughs> All right, because <back. laughs> I said so. <laughs> like, bad logic. <laughs> we should nuke this country. Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> we can. Because <laughs> they're fucking gum chewing pussies. All right, I feel like we still haven't even actually answered this question. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, the most annoying like type chewers. of person—a person that chews gum with their mouth open. Oh yeah, oh, people that people, smack. People, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's Just, nasty. Like when you're at a restaurant, somebody's shit. doing that. I've heard that shit before. Yeah, there was one dude I used to always go to eat with, and he always used to get big fucking hamburgers. And like, he was a hefty boy, and he used to like throw like a pound of French fries on top of his hamburger too. And it was just everything about the way he ate was so obnoxious. <laughs> And then he'd, he'd do that too. He'd yeah, be like, and awful. I could hear it. I'm just trying to eat my fucking chicken tenders next to him. And I just hear this guy's mouth slopping around like a fucking wet vagina in the wind. It was just the worst sound. I hate I loud people. It. Like people Th- that are just loud in public for no reason. I was going to say, because oh, you're yeah, very okay. loud yourself. I, I, when you I was like, like public, but I, I, he no, had no, no, in public. No, no, not in, like, in public, he's actually not. Yeah. I can I confirm mean, like Soup people, is actually, yeah. I was going to say, pretty tame in person. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not going around like. <laughs> Why not? I mean, well, I mean, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> but you have to know the setting. Like, I don't know. It, you have to read the room. Like, if you're in a yeah. situation where you, you know, yeah, I just yeah, hate you can't go to like a, a steakhouse people. and just be screaming and like. Right. Like if you're sitting <laughs> down to eat somewhere, and someone's just like. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Just fucking as, as they deliver your steak, just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I that's that's definitely an annoying one. I'm but trying to think you're of in like, like an elevator, and you're like, yeah, that's funny because it's awkward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you rip a big old fart. Have you? Yeah, I was gonna, oh, actually, yeah. Have you guys had any like awkward ass elevator experiences? Um, My friend ripped uh, major ass in an elevator at a mall. Was one somebody time. else in it? There were like four other people in it. <laughs> oh. It's like a whole family and some random guy. Oh, and just, that is... and it smelled <laughs> terrible too. And I was just dying. It was hilarious. So, that is so BM. Uh, yeah. I, don't, uh, I, was, uh, I feel like I'm rarely ever in elevators to experience like something weird. I yeah, actually have like a, a legitimate fear of elevators. I always feel like they're going to fall and I'm going to die. Like, dude, like really? The cable's going to snap. Yeah. Fear. No, yeah. it's irrational as fuck. You know they have they run off one cable. They have twelve backup cables. Why do you know like you, that? Because well, I looked it, it up. Because I used to be scared of it until off, I realized it. Then they're gonna fall. Right. You gotta know how they work if you ever want to do a terror attack. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. I gotta know how nice. much C4 to bring. Uh uh, but one time Smitty and I were uh we were with our girlfriends, um, and we were in Toronto. And we were going up to our Airbnb, and there was, like, this, like, 80-year-old couple in there. Like, they were old as fuck. And uh, <clears throat> they were about to get out. And it was like, have a good night. And the fucking old dude turns, looks me right in the eyes, and goes, oh, we will. Ugh. And just <laughs> turned around. I was like, I was Gross. so uncomfortable. <laughs> I was oh. like, dude, I'm going to think about this old man's dusty gold dick just being rammed into this fucking... 
nasty old lady. I did not expect to get hard on this podcast today. (laughs) (laughs) But here we are. Yeah, that was just that was just fucking nasty. Mm. I did not like that experience. I did not need that much sexual tension in a fucking elevator. Can I join? I'd probably rather take a shotgun slug between the (laughs) eyes. You should have just (laughs) grabbed him by the balls. That's a salt. Yes. That's literally should have just sucked him off in the elevator. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I should. You know, I'll give I you a good night for right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the elevator come, come ain't the only thing Airbnb. going up tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not your penis, because you're 90 years old. That probably doesn't work. Hmm. It's so weird that old people have sex. <laughs> I know. I've always it's like a weird thought. You know, I've always been so uncomfortable thinking about your grandpa just going to pound town. All right. There was this. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of weird because uh, there was this this situation when I was younger, and I was I was sitting there with my uh, <laughs> I was sitting at my grandpa's place uh, next to my oh, where's my this cousin, going? And uh, I was probably like eight, and I think he was like five or four, like just I think he's a few years younger than me. Well, I was using my cousin or my grandpa's laptop, and Uh-oh. yeah, and I went to so when you when you use Windows Media Player, mm-hmm. which I haven't fucking mm-hmm. used in forever. If you just yep. open Windows Media Player from the like from the program, it'll just start playing whatever was playing last. Oh no. And I, and I, oh, I opened man. it and it was just like rough fucking. It was just like well, loud. You know what moaning. the best part of that is? That your grandpa had porn downloaded. Yeah, like yeah. he had like a yeah. MP4 of he, porn. Yeah, he, he wasn't he wasn't just on like the internet. He actually downloaded porn, found it, sourced it, found a way to download it or pay for it. Was which in, is like, even funnier. I was eight, so it was probably like two thousand. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, did the laptop have a disc like a disc drive? He might have had like a fucking. Oh, it might have been. That, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's true. So much funnier. I just I well, can't imagine the thing is, I used I used Windows Media Player to listen to music on my computer at home. So I just yeah, like, that's what I associated yeah, that's what with. Did. I just thought that you could open Windows Media Player and there would just be music. And it'd be to. your music. Yeah. Yeah. But no. It was and then you just found Grandpa's weird rough sex. Cock. Well, it was like, and it like, was normal sex. Like it wasn't 240p. like 240p. Grandpa's massive cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if it was just a self-shot video you were watching and didn't know? You just kind of <laughs> recognized your Grandpa's slonger. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it, it probably I probably saw it for like two seconds before because he was sitting like right behind us. Oh, I would so have just pulled that open. We heard the noise, and my little cousin was sitting there too, and he like freaked out. And then for like a couple oh, years he, after he that, he freaked just, out. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward. A couple years after that, uh, I can't imagine why. <laughs> but it's just weird imagine. thinking about my grandpa just jerking it, just polishing jerking the it rod, it. just ugh, yeah. ugh, grandpa, to like one eighty p fucking pixel porn from two thousand. You're supposed to wake up, get the early bird special from Denny's, work on something at the house. <laughs> Go golfing. Take your pills. Be your wife and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, no sex whatsoever, Grandpa. No. Don't get your little dusty dick wet, Grandpa. It's weird. Grandpa, come on, Grandpa. What are you doing? I feel like when I'm seventy, I'm just gonna give up on all of that and just fucking punch a shark in the head and die. Like I don't want to live past seventy. I feel like life just goes downhill. Like I don't want to fucking golf and paint shit in my garage all day. Oh, dude, I hope I live to 70. Maybe we can just still do YouTube at 70. I'm going to go around in public (laughs) and just literally not give a fuck about anyone's existence. I can't wait. (laughs) I can't can't wait. I'm just going to rip ass in the grocery store beside people. That makes you uncomfortable that, like, touches (laughs) people way too much. I'm just going to be in public, like, slugging down Jack Daniels, like, in (laughs) You're definitely the grandpa that's not invited to Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they wear like little booty shorts with your fucking old man balls dangling out the bottom. You're just bottom. walking around with a thing of eggnog in like July. <laughs> Ew! No, I'm gonna be a badass hot grandpa. Hot eggnog. That is such a disgusting thought of just warm eggnog in July. <laughs> gonna be drinking Insure and fucking what's that stuff they drink? Insure. Old people. Oh, Pedialyte. Uh, oh yeah, Pedialyte. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> I think it's like extra hydrated water or something weird. What? What? That's a I thing. Have I, extra hydrated put, water. We, we put more water in the water. It like does something <laughs> to your body where it like hydrates you more than just normal. I'm gonna get water. a catheter and fill it with applesauce. Shotgun <laughs> oatmeal. Ew. Shotgun oatmeal. <laughs> Ew. Just like these big chunky logs of oatmeal going down your throat. <laughs> oh, that's uh, fucking nasty. Ew. Don't like that. Speaking of chunks of stuff, I had to take my cat's litter out today, 
And I bought a litter box. Liver. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I, I performed I surgery on my cat. No, I actually I took my cat's litter out today, and I got a litter box like sifter. So it's like yeah. one of them things that you would take out onto like the beach and you would sift for mm-hmm. like shark teeth. Except I'm just sifting for massive chunks of cat shit. We, That's pretty we smart had, of being a cat owner, yeah. Yeah, we had. But uh, I didn't we, know you could have a sifter one. It was pretty fun, dude. It was like a little mini game. It's like find all the cat <laughs> find turds. The, find the turds. <laughs> Avoid we, the mines. Uh, <laughs> when we first got my cat, we had this one that would automatically like sift through, and it was like a comb where it'd pick up the shit and like fling it back into this like little reservoir thing. But Link. one time my cat one time my cat had diarrhea. You don't want it after I finish this story. Oh, my cat had diarrhea you don't know that. and literally <laughs> it scooped it and went to go fling it into itself, but because it was so like wet and sloppy, it just shot diarrhea across the room. And I went in the laundry room <laughs> and there's literally just diarrhea like all up the and wall. Then you just slide like a like, penguin over it. <laughs> No, I didn't do any. There was not enough cat (laughs) shit. It was just one puddle that was just shotgun blasted onto my wall. That is disappointing. How's your cat been? Has it it been doing all right with this litter box? Yeah, no. I mean, it was already trained when I when I got it. So don't cats have a natural uh, like instinct to shit? Yeah, yeah, they naturally do. But my my problem when I got Doug. He would know to use the litter box, but he was so fucking stupid, his ass would hang out of the litter box. So he'd be standing <laughs> in the litter box and he'd shit uh. on the floor next to it. And every morning, without fail, I'd walk into the laundry room, there's just a turd next to the litter box. <laughs> every morning, he finally figured it out. But it was so fucking annoying because I was like, why do I even have a litter box? I'm just going to put a little sandcastle here and let him shit on it. My dad's cat, would he when he shits in the litter box, he does this 100% of the time. He'll take his shit in the litter box and step out of the litter box and like because you know how cats they swipe to like cover their shit yeah well he yeah, gets yeah. out of He'll the litter box next to it he gets out of the litter box and just starts swiping the wall and like the hardwood yep. floor it's like, yep. why <laughs> why are you <laughs> bro cats are actually fucking retarded like yeah. they have they just they just know that they're supposed to shit in sand and do that motion after they don't care where the shit landed or if they're still in the sand. It's just weird. You think they would know if they to like actually swipe the sand. <laughs> like even if he's not swiping the sand over the shit, just to swipe the sand. He's just like scraping the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like litter gets everywhere, dude. I have to vacuum like every other oh, day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, litter is the worst part about the floor. I, had, I, I bought one of those like litter catcher things, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's gonna work that well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cats are a fucking mess. You ever seen those like videos of cats or dogs just like Pissing and shitting like a human in a toilet. Yeah, yeah. that makes me uncomfortable. I don't right? want to my cat to do that because I, if That's I walked like, in on my cat like pissing in the toilet like a human, I'd just <laughs> I would I'd put it down yeah. on the spot. Yeah, that shit ain't right. And my cat used to drink out of the toilet, and it was like the one right next to my office, and it's always like dark down here, so I'd like fucking walk to the bathroom and not be able to see, and I'd like fucking turn the light on, and she'd just be staring at me on the toilet rim, just like. Full eye contact, and I just have to walk out and go use the upstairs one. She would let, like she wouldn't stick her head in it. She'd stick her paw in the toilet, grab some water, and then lick her paw. It was so fucking bizarre. Yeah, that's weird. I make yeah, sure I keep my toilets fuck. closed. I don't want yeah, to have a just wet like, cat getting toilet water all over my wall. Or just shock on the cat if it does that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should not to. Mm. Right, anyway, <laughs> on to the now. next. That's great, McDan. You have the burps mm. every day. You don't need to tell us you I have the burps. I got the burps to do. That's like saying the, the sun rose today. It's just, we know it's going to happen. Yeah, McNasty, that's like saying wouldn't it wish. Exactly. I couldn't agree any more with Is that Is that for statement. the Somalians? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's for the, that's, uh, that'll give us the number five at least. Yeah, at least number five, yeah. <laughs> to be like, oh my god, he said, right. uh, he said he loves Somalia. Awesome. No, he didn't. All right. <laughs> All right, um, I actually have a question for you guys. Have you guys had any really, really bad, like, Karen experiences? I feel like do Mike, because he used to work at Chick-fil-A. I feel like you uh, get some fucking Karens there. Chick-fil-A people were usually pretty nice. I did have, like... Unless you're gay. <laughs> or not white. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there was, there was a bunch of people that came in after a pride parade one time, and we, uh... Really? Believe it or not, believe it or not, we served them. Um, That's actually shocking. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, they were. You all should have gotten a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we served fucking them over it. to the to the cops. Yeah, <laughs> served them fucking ten pounds of loogie spit. 
no, I mean, I had, I had, there would, there would be like um, customers that were like unhappy with food sometimes, but nothing, ever, never like really, really bad. I would have, there was this one woman that came through the drive through like uh, three or four times saying that like her nuggets weren't like fresh enough or whatever. Um, <laughs> even though like, they like literally, like I watched the dude who was cooking them, take them out of the fryer, put them in the thing and hand them right out the window. Um, so she wound up just getting like 30 free nuggets from us because we're Chick-fil-A <laughs> and we can't say no. Yeah. Um, but uh, other than that, there was, oh, well, we had an employee threaten to blow the place up. <laughs> What That's the more fuck? of like a Ahmed thing, happen? not really a Karen thing. I mean, that's really a Karen <laughs> moment. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more just a terrorist threat. <laughs> Karens are really evolving. They got bomb vests on now. They'll wear, they won't wear a mask, but they'll wear a bomb vest. <laughs> yeah, there was a... <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a a problem with theft um among the employees. Some dude in the back, we had like lockers, and some dude was stealing all the time. And one of the employees was um apparently they got like twenty bucks stolen out of their purse or something, and that made her mad enough to uh, start making bomb threats in the Christ. in the lobby of the the restaurant, um where I was currently at the register helping a customer, and she comes storming out. She's like, "I'm gonna bring my friends here, and I'm gonna fucking blow this place up." Oh and, I, and I'm just, God. Yeah, yeah. Over twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. It was like twenty or thirty Fuck. bucks out of her purse. Yeah, yeah. She was fired. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she arrested. <laughs> is a better question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened to her. I never saw her again. Well, so there she we might go. be that in like a, that. <laughs> She might be like sixteen stories down in an FBI like prison. <laughs> <somewhere. Guantanamo Bay. laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I never saw Osama bin Laden in the fucking bottom of the sea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never saw or heard from her again. I had to take her shift the next day. That kind of upset me. But yeah, anyway, uh, that'd be the worst part of that. <laughs> I wish she blew it up now. My my yeah. Karen experience is from an actual Karen. And, oh really? And like it is my was Karen. It is my grandmother. Oh, oh no! Yeah, my grandmother's name is Karen, and she fits the exact description of what a Karen. Does she is. have the hair too? She has well. She's old. She's like seventy one, I think. <laughs> she's bald, and she's she's got like short hair, but it's kind of like curly. It's not that like. So know, it's like typical grandma hair. Typical grandma, like the like George Washington looking grandma hair. You know, <laughs> Just like it's like powder, like, like, like shoulder <laughs> length. Like into a court. Yeah, <laughs> pretty <Powdered> much a <laughs> wig. But she, uh, it's like eight feet tall. <laughs> like, <what the> fuck? <laughs> well, I used to like. So I, I can't remember like a specific experience, but I just remember being like younger and she kind of like helped raise me because my mom was busy a lot and she kind of like, like took care of me essentially growing up. And uh, I would like go out like grocery shopping or just shopping with her in, in general. And she would always just like, like there'd be something, somebody like standing in the um, like aisle and she would walk by him and just be like, you know, you're not the only one in the store, right? And just like oh, continue walking oh, past You and, love to see and, it. Like that's the kind of stuff that she did. She always has to be vocal. She always like if they if they don't take a coupon, she has to talk to the manager. I've never oh, seen her like God. do the care and thing. I put where my it's grandma like, on a fucking home. <laughs> I've never seen her like scream at the top of her lungs or do anything that wild. But it's always just like the typical like speak to the manager. You know, I, I, and I t after a while, I told her I'm like, I, I don't want to go out with you anymore if you're going <laughs> to keep continue to act like this. It's just like I just have this. Constant secondhand embarrassment. It's yeah, like, that's fucking. I think I told it to. I was like, you, you, if you continue to do this, eventually somebody's gonna like punch you in the mouth. Like, you can't just be a dick to people <laughs> and expect to get away from it just because they're old. Imagine just telling your grandma that she's gonna get boxed in the mouth. <laughs> Like, your hey, grandma, grandma walks gonna... by like this thirty-year-old guy. Hey, you're taking up this aisle. <laughs> he just like fucking decks her. Just, just like, yeah, well, she doesn't just. She doesn't say that. She's like, you know, you're not the only one in the store. Like she says it like angrily and just like bitchy. And it's just like grandma. Just... Hey, grandma, somebody's gonna make you shit out your own teeth. <laughs> I suppose it hasn't happened already. She just you should uh, be the one to do it. Typical, typical. Uh, <laughs> Karen. Punch your grandma in public. <laughs> Pick her up and toss her into the next aisle. <laughs> the room over there, grandma, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um shit, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I had one. It wasn't it wasn't a Karen. It was like it was so we I used to work at a golf course and there's this company and it's the it's a Chinese company, but they have like a factory um it, near where I live. And there was like twelve Asians at the golf course for this fucking little tournament that they hosted. And they wanted sandwiches for lunch, which was fine. So the chef made them. 
They were like, yeah, can you just like cut the sandwiches into like little three inch um, slices? So like everybody can just, you know, grab different types of sandwiches and just have a few of the slices. So he's like, yeah, sure. This fucking dude that was hosting the tournament walked up with a fucking measuring tape and started measuring all the slices and got genuinely fucking pissed off and like screaming because some of them were bigger and smaller than the other ones. He was like fuck? genuinely mad that not all of them were perfect three inches. The chef was like, I fucking used my eyeballs. It's not a big deal. Just eat them. They refused to eat them and they left. They didn't pay for anything. What the? They hell? just fucked off because their sandwiches were not three inches sliced. It was so fucking bizarre. It's just like, I can't imagine caring about anything that much, especially a fucking sandwich being not cut into three inch slices. It was so what a, stupid. What a miserable way to exist. I know. I can't imagine that. Like, everything must be so fucking difficult to have that kind of mentality. To pull out a measuring tape. Yeah, fuck people like that. And measure a sandwich. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He must be one Gashes. of those people that, like, uh... He has a three-inch dick, but it's actually, like, 2.89 inches. He just rounds up. He just rounds up, yeah. And anything that's I less bet. than three inches pisses him off. I've never really had like <laughs> Reminds Karen him of moments. That. Yeah. Like I've never had like a Karen moment that I can think of. But I know, like I've been at college bars with my friends, and like I've been to bars where they'll have like dollar drink nights. So you get a whole fucking drink for a dollar, right? And this dude was like complaining that his dollar drink like didn't have enough alcohol in it or something, and hmm. was like pissed off and. Like shit talking the bartender and like threw his drink. It's like dude, it's a fucking dollar drink. Like that's a fucking think? Karen moment. I would, that's fucked. God, that is AIDS. Well, I mean, like an old woman, like doing throwing something. a one dollar drink. Yeah, it's like dude, was it like a, a beer? Or was it like dollar. a mixed drink? It's like a mixed drink. Uh, it's a beer. Yeah. He's complaining about the alcohol level of the canned <laughs> beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty uh, cheap for a mixed drink. Usually, those are. Even the cheapest. Yeah, it was like a college drink. bar, and it's just like, dude, what do you expect? Like, it's a dollar drink, man. There was an old woman at a college bar. No, it was, no, it was he's a dude, saying it wasn't. But, you fucking oh, yeah, uh, it, was, it wasn't an old woman. So I don't know if it's really a Karen moment. It's more uh, like a male. Dude, what's a male Karen? Chad. It's more like a Chad moment. Chad. Chad moment. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel Chad, like, like that'd be more of like a Zach than a Chad. Chad is just like. Yeah, I don't you know. know what I, a guy I play named sports. For Karen I, would be. I feel like a Zach who's just like, yeah, my dad's a fucking lawyer. If you mess up my iced coffee at fucking Starbucks, I'll sue you. All the Zachs watching are pissed off at you. Yeah, fuck you, Zach. <laughs> Sorry, Zachs and Chads and Kyles and Travises. Man, that's uh, a lot of people. <laughs> just like adding on to it. And Eric. Our whole fan base has left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't know if there's a single. Dallas one. with a, fa- a lawyer father. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> I wanna, right, what, do you, uh, what do your guys' dads do for a living? Uh, my dad used to. My dad used to run a chain of grocery stores. <laughs> oh, you've had super this fitting. Yeah, he you were like, like a little kid working nine. for your dad. Yeah, he like straight up child labored <clears> my ass. Yeah, yeah, he had like eight or nine at the peak, um, and then when he was like. 50 he was like this is a lot of work so now he works at a uh he doesn't work in the greenhouse obviously but he works like with a greenhouse and he does like account management which is kind of boring but you know uh-huh. soup you put the wrong amount of o's in my name for your video today anyway. god <laughs> bm <laughs> fuck your name change what's yours do uh-huh. mcnasty just fucking burp my, and throw shit my dad's a maintenance guy well he's actually Did a maintenance too many now. you put four this is yeah. not an appropriate <laughs> time to talk about your stupid title. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just having, having two completely different conversations over here. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, Magnazzi. What does your dad do? I'm sorry. He is a maintenance Master. supervisor. So why am I last? He's been doing maintenance fight. as long as I can remember. <laughs> maintenance? <laughs> like, what kind of maintenance? Like, in an apartment. Like, he goes to people's ass maintenance. Like, apartments and fixes their sink or, you know, changes the light bulb because people Dude, are so I fucking feel like- stupid to do that. Dude, I feel like your dad has a weird job. Like, he's like the one dentist that doesn't recommend certain toothpaste. Like, I feel like your dad has a very oddly specific. He's the one out of ten dentists that doesn't recommend Crest. (laughs) (laughs) You sensodyne, boys. 
<laughs> what does your dad do? If you're okay with talking about that, I guess that's somewhat of a personal question. Uh, no, I'll just give like the vague answer. He's a purchasing man at a company. <laughs> okay, oh, at a com- purchasing a man. <laughs> <laughs> you can't so say that in Missouri. Owner. If I <laughs> said my dad was a purchasing man, everyone would be freaking out. <laughs> He purchases men. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he also owns a farm, but that's irrelevant. Does he really? No, actually. No, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was cards. actually, I was genuinely yeah, worried was like, for a second really? that your dad actually was a slave owner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He, he buys, he buys parts, uh, parts for machines at a company. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's all right. <laughs> I guess yeah. that could be. More Prior to that, he was a big, he He's was like a, big a robot guy. slave owner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your dad do, Soup? My dad is a locomotive engineer. Wait, actually? Locomotive, yeah. oh, like trains? That yeah. is That's dope. not what I was expecting. Yeah, me neither. I was expecting like a shotgun bullet maker. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes dip. <laughs> he, no, like he, he drives Martin trains Russell. and He's a dip tester. Chicken wrangler. Yeah, he just he drives like uh, <laughs> cargo trains and that kind of thing. Oh, that's pretty that's, dope. That's actually yeah, that's actually kind of sick. So does he drive <laughs> yeah. like like if he drives the train? Does he drive like all around the country? No, he just like so. There's different like uh like yards or whatever you want to call it, like a station. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they call them yards, but it's like <clears throat> there's one I don't know all up like the East Coast, and he'll just go from like a local one to one that's like I don't know three or four hours away, and then come back. Huh. So he doesn't That's have to go. Sick. So when yeah, he, he takes, when he like takes a train somewhere, does he take the train back or does he drive back? Uh, he walks. It just depends <laughs> on the job. Like sometimes they'll, they have like their own Uber that'll drive them back uh, or like they'll drive themselves there and then drive a train. Or, like it just depends on the job that they do. Mm. Man, we huh. all, all of our dads do something like really different from each other. Vastly different. Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting yeah. like accountant or like you know like simple stuff. Like, yeah, my dad drives trains and <laughs> he purchases robot penises. <laughs> <laughs> Part-time of- Bitcoin mastermind. <laughs> he also farms. You know, his free time. <laughs> it's like his hobby, his side job. Penis was actually a pretty good segue into my my next question <laughs> right. for you guys. All right, I would expect you to say All that, right. but okay. <laughs> no, all right. This is somebody. Somebody asked me this while streaming, and I thought it'd be a good topic. Um, if you could take six inches off parts of your body and put them somewhere else, what would you take it from, and where stomach would you to put penis. it? Easiest question. Yeah, stomach. Oh, yeah. Penis, like stomach to penis. Yeah. Or I ass. would. I would actually put legs to torso. You do leg have long to legs. butt crack. My legs like are so fucking long. Maybe that's why you like. Yeah, literally. So much. I'm all fucking leg, bro. <laughs> like I am eighty percent legs, like twenty percent. You like that torso. one girl? Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, I'm like, no. Have you ever seen that Family Guy bit where yeah. he's all legs? Uh-huh. That's me. That's what I look like naked. We should all shave, like clean, one hundred percent shave one of our legs and post an Instagram picture of just our legs, like one complete. It kind of sounds like you just want to shave your leg. <laughs> Just one leg. <laughs> like every, we should all shave our left leg and just take a picture from like waist down. I like think I think nuts. everybody should shave <laughs> one left leg and one right leg and then put our legs together and it'll be a big bald leg. All right, someone listening that has an Instagram, shave one of your legs completely clean, take a photo, and tag us in the I, photo. I feel like that's uh, really easy for the females. <laughs> it has to already- be a dude. It has I to be a dude with a really hairy pl- right or, Please be on, 18 or, for legal yeah. reasons, or if you're <laughs> just a, in case. If you're a chick with hairy legs, d- yeah. then you can I, do it. I don't please want to don't see that. send a picture. I'll see a before and after. One of the legs has to be <laughs> hairy. Yeah. My friend, why do you want a picture of my wife? <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> I think that was already on to Soup Snapchat. What? what? My wife? Goat leg. Oh, goat leg. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, because uh, my wife jokes. is a goat. Jokes. My uh, wife's a goat. Damn, jokes on the fucking podcast. a goat. We IEDs. IEDs? IEDs. Yep. <laughs> IEDs nuts. Isn't that, oh, never mind. I, I almost... I thought it was... I, no, it's IED that's the bomb. IUD is the thing that stops you from getting cool. And DUIs pregnant. are not epic. <laughs> don't, dank, don't, don't drink and don't drive. Don't dank. Don't dank and drive. Don't dank and die. Don't go to Dunkin' Donuts. It's expensive. Don't, don't, 
Krispy Kreme. Don't Don't dick down no. Doug Dimmadome. I feel very, like there's very, a point in your really. life where you go from eating donuts like every weekend to like just never eating. So just never, never again. Had that point. We never had that one point. of our <laughs> hockey teams was sponsored by Tim Hortons, so we'd have donuts in the room all the time, and it was Dude. such a stupid idea because we do like two hours of off ice training to like burn calories and you know stay fit, and then we go back to the <laughs> room and there'd just be like calories from one yeah, and then there'd just be like fifty donuts sitting in the room, and it's like what the fuck is it? I went to Krispy Kreme and I think they close. I was with like a bunch of friends and I think they close at like 10 p.m. or like 9 p.m. And we showed up like right as they closed. And she was like, I can't give you guys uh, any donuts or whatever. But she was like, if you wait out by the dumpster, (laughs) then I can give you guys like a ton of free donuts. She was just like, I can't give them to you like through the window or something. And we were like, okay. So I shit you not. This dude walks out with like a garbage can. Like one of those with wheels on it, full <laughs> of fucking like boxes of like fresh donuts, and it was in like a clean garbage bag. And we got like seven boxes been, of donuts. Yeah, I would have been oh going hard, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And they were I just feel like, like, yeah, that's take just all type you two want. diabetes though. Like that's oh, just we didn't eat. Death. Yeah, we like gave them away. We were like giving them to family members and shit. We had so many. Yeah, donuts. I definitely would have been doing that. Was it just <laughs> like <laughs> only cream or? Uh, yeah, uh, it was only like the original Frost Glaze. Those still yeah. bomb. Those ones are still those ones are really oh, yeah. the only ones I like from Krispy Kreme. Though to be fair, but oh. they were so fresh and they were just like throwing away tons of them. Like we didn't even get all of them, dude. There were tons yeah. That's what fucking donuts. McDonald's Fuck and stuff Africa, does. Dude. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't understand why they don't just like. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it's it's so hunger. weird that they just <laughs> throw shit out. Dude, like McDonald's will make a whole that. ass burger and just yuck it in the garbage. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's so I've, I've heard about people bizarre. like just doing that, like taking like, shit and getting in trouble. Home, no, no, homeless people like <laughs> like not, not dumpster diving, but oh, like just going, waiting back, waiting for a store to end and just staying in the back and like getting food from. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Every place always has food. Any fast food place, like guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, what's fucked up though is a friend of mine worked at McDonald's. Um, it's not yeah, slander; it's up. a true story. <laughs> Poor guy. And he fucking uh, he took a bunch of chicken nuggets that they're throwing out, and he ate them for his fucking like lunch there. And uh, they almost fired him for that, even though they were throwing them out. Yeah, uh, that's pretty stupid. But why? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. They were like, "No, you have to pay for those if you're gonna eat them." It's like it was literally going in the garbage, and yep. he just before they threw it out, he was like, "Oh, can I have those?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure." And then his manager almost fired him. I could never work somewhere like that. I'd be sneaking food all fucking day. Oh, dude, dude I literally my pockets with chicken yeah, nuggets. For, for every single time somebody <laughs> would order a six piece, I'd make six for me too. Dude, I'd make. I would go buy like the most limp biscuit pair of cargo shorts you could find, <laughs> and just <laughs> put like <laughs> just <laughs> fill them, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> By the time this shit's over, yeah, you pants are just burgers in them. <laughs> my uh, my cousin used to work at Burger King, and he said that sometimes he would that, like get an order for a sandwich, and he would if you if you get an order for a sandwich, you made it wrong, you would have to throw it away. And he said he sometimes he would intentionally make just the make sandwich on, fucked up, uh-huh. and then like <laughs> quote unquote throw it away. And then just eat. But he said he used to uh, so he worked at Burger King, and he used to always eat chicken fries. You read, oh, you read the chicken God, fries from there? He would, oh, yeah. He yeah. Those all they day were long. so good. Yeah, they still have them, I'm I'd pretty sure. Those. But yeah, those, those are they pretty good. They don't have them in Canada anymore. Oh, uh, no. I'm pretty sure they still have them here. They're, um, enough people bought them to where they just like. Because I think they were going to be like a limited edition thing. And then yeah. they just worked <laughs> out so Limited well. edition, sell them in five years. <laughs> we'll go up in value. Yeah. Limited edition chicken fries from Burger King. <laughs> well, you know Nine the, out of ten. The Crunchwrap Supreme was supposed to be like limited. And then that was did so well it stuck. I don't really like this. Really? Though. Yeah, I think I that was the it. same thing with like the Doritos tacos too. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Or the uh, actually fucking the the one Mountain Dew drink. What is it? Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Blast. Yeah, that was supposed to be. Dude, I'm here. convinced that people there would be like a public outcry if they discontinued that. Oh yeah, I yeah. know oh, several yeah, no, people they, that they, love they would those. definitely lynch the CEO of Taco Bell if, if they took those away. You know, they used to sell them in cans, and I had a friend who like loved them so much that he called like Mountain Dew headquarters and was like, "Why can I not find?" like any Baja Blast anywhere or whatever or his grandmother called or something and they sent him like a Mountain Dew hat and like I think they sent him like three cases of Mountain Dew and like shit what yeah wow. they- like make a wish kid <laughs> <laughs> what Mountain Dew he told them he was dying <laughs> <laughs> gotta have it for my IV into my bloodstream that's actually one of my favorite Mountain Dews those Baja Blast I, I just never don't like Mountain good. Dew. I don't like sugar, man. I honestly don't really. The only sugary drink I like 
is iced tea and hot chocolates. Yeah, I don't like Baja Blast either. Really? I'm just not a fan of like sodas. I uh, the only time I ever want to drink a sugary soda is if it's Mountain Dew. Like if it's anything else, I just drink Ugh. like Diet Virgin. Don't you always drink soda when you eat though? Yeah, but I just drink like uh, I drink Diet Dr Pepper is my favorite, and then you know Mountain Dew is made to like mix with uh like liquor or like uh, moonshine or something. I'm pretty sure. Really? What? That's what works they call really it. well. That's the one soda Dew. that I don't use to like mix. That's like why it's with. named Mountain Dew. I'm pretty sure. It's really? really made to mix. Yeah. Did you know Mountain Dew used to be a YouTuber that played guitar on Backup Studio? <laughs> <laughs> Currently in this call. Whatever He's happened to my favorite up, YouTuber, now. Mountain Dew? <laughs> yeah, I, he, he never... Mega stuff now. He's washed up. Yeah. He never became anything. That loser. Screw that guy. Nah, he's still dirt. I hate him. No. <laughs> Coward. you like dirt. Yeah, he used to be better at guitar, too. Now he sucks. Yeah, I know. He really, he really got rusty. Yeah. Him. <laughs> Bro, how far are you from your mic? You said like you're talking from the kitchen. <laughs> it's like you're scooting back while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back podcast. to the podcast. I'm just gonna <laughs> keep yeah, we're just ripping into him, asking why he's like leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do the rest of the episode right here. How's this? <laughs> I li- I like that idea. Okay. I think the people in their cars listening on their speakers would also really like this hey, idea. Does it sound like an in your ear? Yeah, do you like the sound of the inside of my lungs? This is, this is not the sound of silence. I hope, I hope you're not speeding on the highway while you're listening to this. <laughs> that would be naughty, naughty. <laughs> Don't do you it. are wiping your butt while listening? Keep wiping. Make sure you do back <laughs> to front. Picture. Get shit on nuts. <laughs> no, don't Season picture, your nuts please. with the doo Go from inside mm. out. Most mm. efficient. Ew. Do the side to side Ew. swipe. Uh, if you use toilet donkey. paper, you are a pussy. No donkey toilet ass. paper. Only donkey hand. Ass. Only hand. Toilet paper. Only hand. Ass. No toilet ass. paper. Only hand. Don't be ass. Only hand. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that should be the new meta. Just swallowing toilet paper so you just shit it out and immediately are clean. We should just do a whole podcast where we just request weird things of our fans. That would be awful. <laughs> nope. I feel like I feel like we need visuals White for that. Send picture. Do it. No, no, please no. do not send picture of <laughs> your dirty fucking That's toilet like, shit. Please don't ever. I actually yeah, stumbled actually, upon a yeah. subreddit the other day that's just people literally posting their turds. Oh, well, that's we, like that Instagram page. Cobb, yeah. Cobb showed us an Instagram that <laughs> yep. it was just pictures of people taking shits. <laughs> Yeah, no. that wasn't it one guy that it, wasn't a Robocop or something? It's it's cop underscore pro- robot for those no, of you who want to look for don't it. Promote it. <laughs> <laughs> don't promote that it. Page is about to skyrocket shit. in popularity. Dude, the best I, I hope he starts taking raid brand deals. <laughs> no, dude, the best one is the raid one of Chewbacca. Yeah. yeah. There's a video on there of a guy in a Chewbacca mask and he's like yep. And then he like, <laughs> turns like, the camera like to his ass, and so much shit comes it's up. Like, dude, he there's just like opens six the turds. Like, dude, there's oh, so yeah. many turds come out. <laughs> it's projectile <laughs> shit too. Dude, it I, is amazing. I, I looked at the top post in the one subreddit that I fucking saw, and it was this dude that was on like a twenty foot ladder, and his toilet was under it. Um, he just had like this toilet outside, like it wasn't actually in his bathroom, and he's trying to shit in it, but he just fucking shit, and it missed the toilet and hit the ground, dude. It's like the loudest, wettest slap. Imagine one of your friends is just like, "Hey, bro, can you film this for me real quick?" Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, Climbs a ladder and shit. A, shit. <laughs> yeah, you're like, "Oh, that's up. cool. You're gonna do some like work on your roof," and he starts taking his pants off. <laughs> <laughs> it's so if fucking I lived nasty, in a neighborhood though. and saw someone do that, I would put my house up for sale that day. <laughs> I feel like that would be something that happened in your neighborhood. <laughs> your, your yeah, neighborhood if that's gonna happen, that. yeah, if that's gonna happen anywhere, it's where you were doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Says the yeah, guys that live in cities and will have crackheads like fucking. I don't, actually, I you're not wrong. Fucking, fucking pigeons on the I sidewalk. Live in a suburb. Yeah, I don't live yeah, anywhere yeah, near yeah. a city. You, yeah, I live in a sub, you fucking subway lover. There was this, uh, me and my cousin yeah. went into town the other day to get food, and we were sitting there eating in the truck, and uh, there was this crackhead, like, walking around the parking lot, and, like, he kept getting to the front of, like, a grocery store, and they had, like, a speaker outside, and it was playing, like, Carrie Underwood, and he was just, like, <laughs> dancing his ass off. <laughs> Like Gotta just respect it, feeling dude. the shit out of Carrie Underwood, <laughs> and then he'd like leave and then walk around the parking lot all again, and just like aimlessly, not even in like a specific direction, and then he'd like hear the music again and go towards it and start dancing again. And crackheads are <laughs> dude, fucking crackheads wild. Crackheads are another breed, dude. And there's yeah. so many of them where I live. 
it's fun. I was downtown. Like we have, uh, if you go downtown in the closest city that's to me, you, it's like it's across from Detroit, and it's really nice at nighttime. So sometimes we'd go and hang out there, and like every once in a while, you'll get a crackhead there. And there was this lady just singing and dancing and going fucking crazy, and we're like, holy shit, that's a crackhead, mm-hmm. like major fucking crackhead. So we walked the other way, and as we're walking by, she's like, hey guys, do you guys like my dancing? <laughs> like this perfectly normal voice. We're like. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it was all right. She's like, okay, cool. And the second we turn around, she just starts screaming like fucking Helen Keller and just fucking sprinting. Like she was cracked head, but like (laughs) selectively crack head. It was so fucking bizarre. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, literally just like where you scream out of nowhere is what she did when we all turned around. It was so fucking weird. (laughs) There was like six of us. If I was by myself, I would have just sprinted. I would have been scared of her. It was like a power move, just oh, screaming. Jordan. The thing about like people like that too is they they like feign in and out of reality. They like go in their yeah, own little worlds yeah. and then they're like actually like like oh my god I'm in a real world. It's like they put on a VR headset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> VR headset. Meth is just the OG VR headset. Change my mind. <laughs> Nature's headset. <laughs> meth is oh just real god, life meth. VR chat. <laughs> uh, I miss VR. That's kind of what it feels like when you go into VR chat. It feels a little bit methy. Like you're doing meth. methy and very <laughs> methy. weeby. And very pedophiliac, yeah. There's oh, a lot of weird yeah. shit that goes on in VR chat. Oh, yeah. There have been. Oh, wow. Well, never mind. I can't talk about that. <laughs> no, please share. What the fuck? <laughs> there, there have been legitimate pedophiles like outed on VR chat. Oh, um, yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah, like who are like, who are like, Content creators, but anyway. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, that's uh, yeah. No, that's- the thing is, like VR chat, you go in, a, you go in there, and like in any world, there's some like, like twenty year old girl who's talking like she's like five. Ah, uh, yeah. It's weird. It, it's weird that they fetish that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. So that's what I hate about like that whole Belle Delphine fucking oh, yeah. f- strain of woman that came along, where they're like role playing as like fucking twelve year olds. Yeah. It's so bizarre. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did hard. you see? <laughs> You sound like Courage a Cowardly Dog. You good? What? You just said Bella Delphine strain of woman. <laughs> <laughs> it was created in a lab or something. <laughs> like Professor X just accidentally yeah. put chemical X in there. Much, yeah. Added way too much fucking crack. <laughs> Sugar, spice, and a little too much oo <laughs> <laughs> These were the ingredients to make the perfect e-girl. <laughs> I would, oh, I would love to watch that actually. <laughs> pretty, pretty entertaining. I do not want to watch anything to do with her. <laughs> did you guys used yeah, to watch no, Powerpuff thanks. Girls when you were younger? Yeah, yeah. I, did. I just felt I felt bad for the monkey, bro. I watched <laughs> oh, oh, Mojo Jojo. Came on. I just didn't care. Yeah. You know? Do you all remember that episode of Powerpuff Girls where the kid ate so much glue that he became a glue monster? <laughs> it's like you, except with coon. <laughs> 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 that was do so the, the friendly neighborhood coom monster that was so unnecessary that's why he doesn't what do a face hell? reveal all his pores are just oozing cum why do you think I'm so white <laughs> did you just fart as you said that was <laughs> <laughs> that that was it's kind of weird that you guys rip into me about burping but do farts like every 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my <laughs> farts <laughs> are like on another plane of existence. I've so never bad. met anybody that's just like as small as you that farts as much as you do. What I don't it's, get is like because all you eat thing. is like all you eat is like acorns dipped in water. Like, what are you even farting? It's out? it's it's be, it's because I probably eat too much protein. Mm-hmm. Like oh, when you yeah, eat excess yeah, protein, your colon is probably just crying. It's like yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just it's constant it's, tears. My butthole stinkier. That right. soup Thank said you, it best. Soup. soup said it best. Yeah. Why don't you just eat, like, cereal bars? Why don't you just not worry about what he eats, stupid fuck? Why don't you just (laughs) eat, like... Yeah. Your asshole. I'll do it. All right. Okay. You said it, not me. You talked him into it. You talked him into it. We still got to do that goons orgy, by the way. Yes. Don't know. Goons orgy. Goons orgy. Nope. Yep. We're doing goons orgy. Goons orgy. So I know. feel like my role would be the man standing there looking over everyone with a whip just because honestly, of no, so. I feel like I feel like your role would be the one getting pounded because you have the longest hair. Yeah. So like realistically, if it's somebody was getting a funny blog coming from the pounded, biggest bitch, it's probably the group. you. <laughs> well, well, hold on. <laughs> goons, goons fighting. Goons fight. Uh, goons fight. Oh, that'd be fun. Goons boxing match. Yeah. 
Oh, I. That'd be a good time. That's not fair for me. Yeah. What do you mean? Because he's like a well, featherweight in anything. Well, well, first of all, McNasty's like six a <laughs> seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McNasty's wingspan. McNasty could just go full like spinning <laughs> gorilla sh- and take us all we out. Don't, we don't know if he's shaped like a T Rex. You'd hear like Slayer <laughs> Gate start playing. <laughs> I've seen McNasty's face, but I've never seen his arms. <laughs> so I don't know if his arms are like half a foot long each. Like, McNasty would be like a raid boss for me. Like. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, the thing is, I'm slow. So if you're fast, oh, yeah, we know. Oh, we know. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> you were definitely slow. I didn't mean mentally. Oh, wow. Well, uh, well, well, we did. Well, we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> McNasty, you have brain <laughs> I'm <just> damage. confused. <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> Not even, not even, he's not even Wait. recording the podcast. He's just been sitting here talking for an hour. He doesn't even know what's yeah. going on. <laughs> we just lassoed him in. I thought we were just chilling, talking about dumb stuff. <laughs> that's we pretty just, much what this is. Yeah, that should be up our with, about on YouTube. We just come up with topics to sit in Discord to, to talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no we don't even, we don't, I thought not even we recording. were. <laughs> and then. Oh, yeah? yeah? I hadn't considered either of those things. I thought about the second one, but then I was like, that's kind of racist. Should we discuss so, no. it? <laughs> no, topic? but what well, we could discuss? what we could discuss is if you could switch bodies with someone, who would it be? Have some beer so I can look at myself <laughs> naked in the mirror. That rhymed. I hope she hears that. I hope she hears <laughs> that, and beer, I hope she blocks you. I switch bodies with Big Chungus, Big Chungus, Big Chungus. <laughs> Has anyone actually checked her age? <laughs> like she's Madison over age. She has she's to be 20s. over. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, you have a nice, uh, nice speed run <sighs> nice to talk. jail. Thank you. Babe, you have a nice yeah. cock too. Madison Beer is 21 <laughs> years old. Okay, I'm glad. I was okay. just trying to ignore what Matt McNasty said. I just want to see um, her boobs. That's it. That'd be cool. Okay, that's enough. Have <laughs> you lame thing? Honestly, dude, boobs are kind of lame. Yeah, boobs are lame. I'm more of an like, ass They're guy. cool, Speak but it's for like. Yourself. But it's like, what a K. Realistically, if you just a pair of titties on your screen popped up right now, you'd be like, "Yeah, no, it's just like yeah. okay." When you're like kids. 16, boobs are just like you could just blow many thing. loads to boobs. Yeah, they're <laughs> peak. But honestly, I don't even think there'd be a wiggle down there. I just yeah. want to say that boobs. Dew has had no input, so <laughs> kind of sus. Just kinda I'm just waiting my boobs, turn dude. to talk, bro. All <laughs> right, man now, 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 how about a wrinkly nutsack? <laughs> Let me tell you that what, gets brother. me going. Oh man, that gets me tweaking. Yeah. Was it one of you guys that told me that people actually iron their nut sacks? Yes, George Clooney did it. He had his wrinkly nut. I don't. I, I'm too excited about this topic. Um, <laughs> George Clooney. George Clooney had his nut sack ironed out. <laughs> I've kind you of sound so unenthusiastic that it's just happened. like fake. <laughs> we know you're lying. I, re- I realized that I perked up too much when you mentioned that. <laughs> Do actually has do actually has the before and after photos as his phone background. <laughs> he has the before um, as the lock screen and the after as his uh, yeah, once background. Once he opens it, it's smooth balls. <laughs> He's just constantly sitting there, just locking and reopening his phone. <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god! <laughs> All right, so I would trade. I would trade buys with George Clooney so I could see a smooth nut sack. There we go. Okay, you could probably just uh, like text him or something. Actually, <laughs> dude. Yeah, he fell on Twitter. Probably Scarlett Johansson. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah I feel like for multiple me. reasons. No, but I feel like multiple reasons. She's hot, and then you're like, I want to go hang out with Robert Downey Jr. today, and then boom. Well, you that's kind of cool. Could just be like Chris Evans. Chris Evans, but I is also want to look at my fucking ass later, and I don't want to yeah, look at Chris, Chris Evans', Evans ass. ass. Yeah, but I don't want to look at a man ass, yeah, a little hairy Evans. manhole. No, Chris Evans' ass is. <laughs> Dude, you are, you are way too passionate about Chris Evans' ass. This is like a, this is like a meme, like, like Captain America's ass or whatever. You know, yeah, you but not like, like this is not looking at ass. it in like a mirror with your cheeks spread. Like, well, the thing is, if you're Chris uh, Evans, you could probably just bang anybody that you wanted to. So. That's a good. Actually, that's a good point. I never yeah. looked at it from like switching bodies with someone who's like way just more attractive and has way more money than me. Yeah. You yeah, just like, if you switch, you could just wake up and be like, "I'm gonna fuck Miss Obama today." Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, um, interested in a woman. I think that's a good topic to end. Plus, I need to go get 99 fletching. So that's uh <laughs> Oh my god! I would change bodies with Larry the Cable Guy. The end. 
That's not even changing. Wait, aren't bodies. that's you now? That's just like yeah. you, ju- you literally just, just be like older. Fifty pounds, pretty much. <laughs> and being older, yeah, and apparently it. heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> God, what yeah, bad I just choice. I just like because you got a monster truck. So then I would own that. You know, that a monster cool. truck. That's what she said. Mu- <laughs> I wish I had your Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, can we end on that? Yeah, yeah. Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. All uh, right, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And you like it, you like it. Whoop. And uh, tune in to Somalia Radio this uh, next week to hear the new podcast. Again, <coughs> we're going to try to do weekly. By the way, yes, we are switching to weekly because we actually we're finally becoming responsible adults for once. Maybe. Maybe possibly depending uh-huh. on how my RuneScape sessions go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shut up and end it. All right. <laughs>